Hello friends, this video I'm going to introduce recurrent and recurrent tree traversal again. Um, the problem is um, expression add operator. For a problem like this, it's very uh, easy to solve with recurrent method. For example, if giving input is 1, 2, 3, 4 here, and uh, the value is x, whatever x is, we just need to try every possible combination and examine if the value equal to x, that's the result we want. So we start with 1, 2, 3, 4. At each step, we have two options. Actually, if you go this way, we have an, an, an option. Option 1, you can take out 1. That's, that's this edge. You take out 1. Option 2, you take out 1, 2. Option 3, you take out 1, 2, 3. Option 4, you take 1, 2, 3, 4 until it gets empty. That's that's the sub problem you get. If you take one, take out one here, you get a sub problem here, and it follows the same pattern. So, as you can see, the once you can draw this tree, a tree like this, you can finish the code. For example. This for loop comes from here. Each step you have an option, so you start from post is star. You have an option. Then each step you can take out a value. It's start from beginning post and at i plus one. For example, at this step you take out one. This step you take out one two. This step you take one two three. So this is the age you get here. This is the age. Then you got a sub problem left here, here, here. So you recursively call the same problem, the same function, but the start from here i plus one. At each step, the age, you have three options. You can use addition, subtraction, and multiple, multiple, multiple multiplication. So here is your option, three option, addition, subtraction, multiplication here. That's three options comes from here. Of course, at the end of the node, when you get empty here, you want to return the age. What's your age here? Here is, is the age value n. So if the, the sub problem return empty, you need to add the age and return the age. So when you reach here, you want return four. So you get three plus four, three minus four, three times four here. Then you return those value to, to here. That's, that's why. That's why this condition comes from here, because it comes from here. So how about this is a age case. For example, you can take out one here, you get zero six left. Then you want to take out zero here. That's right. No problem because you can get one plus zero. 1 minus 0, 1 times 0, but 
you don't want this value here 1 at 0 6 1 minus 0 6 1 times 0 6 this is something you don't want because we don't want the a leading zero so this is something you want 10 10 plus 6 10 minus 6 10 times 6 this is this is so here you just terminate this tree you you don't want to go go deep so here is the this if comes from here if you already take a zero out then you just terminate so you break your return you see this is amazing once you can finish the draw the recurrent tray maybe in 10 minutes and you know the correctness will be guaranteed because each step you tried you tried every possible combination every possible combination so if you have evaluated the value if it is x so you pick up that value that's as here for debugging purpose you can turn on this print out on your local you will see it will print print out all possible combination so um, uh, that's the problem we can solve with a recursion tree this is amazing once you draw the tree then you can finish the code so at beginning I saw this uh, I got the right answer but it turns out there are some edge case uh, get failed um, for example here if you have two times three plus two for, for this example here that's tree node would be two three two so so when the node return let's take I got two three two left I got three then two left I got two the empty left when this tree return to here here you get minus and times at here then you get three value return to here but for this example here for this example here the value would be because the priority this is higher than addition so we want uh, so the value would be 3 times 2 that's 6 that's 8 but our code we are written like this that's 10 so we want turn this back to this how can we do that so here is 5 we already got then when we return to here we have 2 2 5 if we can return the previous value that's 2 here we want how can we turn that back let, let how can we turn that back what we can do is plus two times that's two times three
plus 2, that's it. So this is a little tricky, but that's okay if you can get this uh, solution uh, very quick. So for some example, um, if, if the operation is minus, uh, we can turn it back to for if previous operation is multiplication that's okay because this doesn't matter because this doesn't matter you compute this first or this first so it's doesn't matter so here is our um, final solution again the termination condition here when it terminates I use this one to Firstly, I, I don't want, I want to get rid of this auxiliary structure. So when it gets empty here, I will add this to the final solution if the sum is equals target. At each step, I have an option. N is the size of the subproblem. Is the size of subproblem. Each time, I take out an age, like 2 or 12, something like that. This is the age. Well, if this uh, expression is empty, so uh, I don't, because you don't want at beginning, you don't want to get something like this, 2 plus 3 plus plus 2. So this is unnecessary. So that's why you have this condition. Now, each node, you have three options, plus subtraction. And here is the multiplication. Then this condition is comes from here, the edge case. So Again, uh, as you can see, once you draw a recurrent tree, each step, the code will match the condition when you draw the tree. So once you finish the tree, you can write the, write the code respond, respond daily. Before I, I in my previous video, I introduced this method and I got a dislike. Some guy said, leave the message. I totally don't understand what are you talking about. So I just trying to introduce this method. It will help you solve all kinds of the problem. On lead code, now you have more than 400. You don't want to practice them one by one. Um, this math, with this method, you can solve maybe, I don't know, maybe one third problem. So you really need go to practice using this method, practice like five to 10, then you should be solve all of them independently. For some edge case, if you at a beginning like me, I miss this this edge case, but I think that's okay, because if you can get here, that's okay. From here uh, to to here, uh, take a little take a little thought, but you need to practice BFS, DFS, BFS, DFS. Okay. You need, if you feel this is um, difficult for you, you really need to check those two videos. You really need to check these two videos. That, that one is easier. Okay, thank you.